You know what I said the third thing was? Where do they get respect from? From garnering attention, from arrogance, from ego, these things. If you raise your children right, you know what they will learn? Respect comes from nowhere, from nowhere, except from the words, La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. When you accept this religion of the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, وَلِلَّهِ الْعِزَّةُ وَلِرَسُولِهِ وَلِلْمُؤْمِنِينَ And only Allah owns nobility and dignity and honor and authority and so do His messengers and, and, and it belongs to Him and to the believers. Believers have this dignity and nobility that nobody else has. If you raise your children right, you know what's going to happen when, by the time they get to high school? Even if you send them to public high school, they will see all kinds of filth and they will look at it and not say, I wish I could be like that. They'll look at it and say, I feel so sorry for these pathetic people. They have no idea what's ahead of them. They have no purpose in their life. Allah gave me such clarity about what my life is about. I already have direction in my life. And these people are so pointless. They're going to be they're losers now, they'll be even bigger losers 10 years from now. And 200 years from now, when they're in their graves, they'll be amazing losers. I feel bad for them. I feel sorry for them. You'll start looking down at corruption instead of being jealous of it. You'll start feeling bad for people who are victims of it instead of wanting to be like them or being tempted by them. That's the kind of kids we want to raise. That see their Islam as something that makes them superior. Superior to everything else. They don't, they're not arrogant, but they understand what Allah has given them is better. What Allah has is better. <laughs> what Allah, if, they could see, if they could see the world like that, man, I tell you, the world would be at their feet. People will come to them and say, man, what is it? Man? What makes you take bro? I don't get you. You know, we're not like everybody else. This has actually happened to me before. And it happened to a lot of young people before too. You know, you're in an elevator, you keep your eyes closed, the woman comes to me, you didn't look at me once. Why did you, why did you do that? I was like, I don't need to. I'm married. And I fear God. Dude, what religion are you? I was like, I, I'm of the religion that respects women. And I didn't tell her. So she had to ask me like, what, what religion, what religion, what religion? Islam. I was like, <laughs> we have, when we stand up for our religion, I tell you, people around us will notice. People around us will notice. 